hey, I know it's been 20 years ago, but who who remembers this right here? Who remembers this? I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have, because we won the state. I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. There's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Guess what? Guess what? He still doesn't have those 11,000 votes. <laughs> Where is he going to get them from? Listen, hey, listen to me, guys. Where is he's going to where is he going to get 11,000 extra votes for? He already has all the Klansmen. He already has all the Nazis. He already has all the pedophiles. Where is he going to get these additional votes? He's not. He's not. You know why? A lot of those kids who locked in cages in El Paso, Texas, those are new votes for Democrats. They haven't forgotten those cages. All of that excessive cruelty, all of that inhumane treatment of of those Latinos, right? Some of their moms and dad may vote Republican because, you know, they do weird stuff. But see those kids? We got those kids. Those are our kids. Those are ours. They're voting Democrat. This younger generation are voting Democrat. Where is he going to find those votes? He will not find them. You know why? He took away the rights that a woman had to her body. Listen to me, women. Your only chance of getting your uterus back is to vote for Harris. That's why I'm telling you, they need to hire me to write their slogans. I'll write slogans that'll drive the point home like nothing else. It's either K or the KKK. That's our choice. That's our choice. We now have a real choice. But guess what? He still don't have 11,000 votes. There isn't anyone voting for this Klansman. There isn't anybody voting for this white supremacist. There isn't anyone but the, the, the handful of rednecks he's already accumulated. And the redneck seems to think he should win because everybody in their circle is redneck. They, they they live in these boxes, these musty, fungus-filled boxes called rural. And they think because they're in rural, the world sees it that way. But the world isn't rural. What gives these people the impression is that our caucuses go to the worst place in the country called Iowa, where there's nothing but redneck, racist white folk. To decide the president of the United States is the worst possible place you can go in terms for an actual representation of this country. Because having no one ask me shit, I haven't participated in one poll yet. I want them to poll me. I'm, I got my hand raised like Horshack, like, oh, 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 ask me. Let me join the CNN panel when we discuss presidential topics. And when there's a president there, I, I, I have real questions for Trump during this debate that I know he isn't going to answer. Like the main question I want to see, what qualifies you to be president after placing the entire country on welfare? The whole damn thing was on welfare. Everybody was locked inside. He botched. Never forget, Trump said, Trump said. We have 15 cases, and those cases next week will be zero. Never forget that. As you reflect on all your family members who died during COVID, that's the danger of electing an ignorant president, an unlearned individual, someone who lied on the application to get the job. Trump is not qualified. Trump was never qualified. The only reason he won the first time the only reason he won the first time is because Joe Biden should have ran at that time. And we would have kept this momentum and we would have blocked 
these hateful Republicans out of the White House for 25 years at least. It would have taken them 25 years. Now we've lost women's reproductive rights. We've, we've pretty much lost all civil rights. White cops can blow our brains out now with impunity. That's the danger of this Supreme Court. We have racist pilgrims, including Clarence Thomas, on the Supreme Court. This is the dangers of extreme white Christianity. This is the dangers of sitting at home thinking that sh that Kamala Harris don't have a chance to win. This, that's dangerous because they said the same thing about Barack Obama. He don't have a chance. And not only did he have a chance, he set a record. Well, guess who else set a record in donations? Guess who else has shattered President Obama 48 hour record for raising money? Whenever you see Democrats giving money like this, because we ain't got money to waste. All of our money is accounted for. Whenever you see Democrats mobilizing, we're mobilizing. We're mobilizing right now as if we're dealing with an incumbent who's a Republican. That's how motivated we are. And Trump has a huge problem. He still doesn't have 11,000 votes. You know why? Because the white vote is split down the middle. And we keep the decent half. The decent half is on our side. The people who were raised the right way, they're on our side. The real Christians, not these fake ass, right wing extremist, racist ass Christians who are responsible for who for slavery. No, not that group of Christians. The abolitionist group is on our side. And that's why Trump is going to lose. Because the decision is going to come down to freedom or racism, liberty or slavery. That's your choice. That's your choice. Because I feel to believe the 14th Amendment is next. I don't think the Supreme Court this is going to stop at Roe versus Wade. Next is going to be Dwayne Wade. It's going to be black folk. We're next. We're next. Don't you think for a second, who thought that they could take down Roe versus Wade? If Trump gets back in office, he'll have the conservative strength with his cult of senators and that Supreme Court to put our black ass back in slavery. And I believe beyond a doubt, any shadow of a doubt, he will do it. But thank God right now, he doesn't have them 11,000 votes and he'll never get them.